Hi and welcome. This time I want to show you how to make this eternal ARP patch. I don't want to explain all the things in detail. If you want to know how the modifiers work and how you can achieve slow modulations and um, how the um, actual loop envelopes work, you can have a look on my um, other, on my first eternal um, atmospheric sound tutorial. I'm explaining in the other video all the things um, very deeply, very thoroughly with a simulation of the signals so that you can see um, how the modifiers work. But I think it's okay to do the explanation just once and go on with the next eternal patch in this video, okay? So let's start with the programming. Before we start with the oscillators, I want to have a look on our modulation sources. So let's check out filter envelope, which we are going to change slightly to k 62 and release to 40. Let's move on to our amp envelope, which we are going to change slightly to have a attack of 9, which will be later a softer transition between the notes when the ARP is on. And let's change envelope 3 to a loop mode. Loop S1, S2. Attack to 38. Attack level to the maximum. Decay to 23, sustain to 0, decay 2 to 38, and sustain 2 to the maximum again. So this is a looped envelope, which means that the faces of this envelope is looped again and again, just like a LFO. So if you're running out of LFOs, you can use this trick in order to achieve a looped um, modulation source. And the parameters for the um, time of the um, faces are changing the speed of this fake LFO. Let's do this with envelope 4. Again, change it to loop S1, S2. Attack can remain on zero. Attack level to the maximum again. Decay to 63. Sustain down to zero. Decay 2 to 27. And sustain 2 to the maximum again. So now we have some fake LFOs, but why? The reason is that we need all of the three real LFOs to get quite slower modulations. Let's have a look on that. We are going to change the modulation speed of LFO1 to 1, make the synchronization on, and we are going to use a fixed start phase of 0 degrees. We can go on with LFO2, which will be on the speed of 0, which does not mean that it freezes, but 0 is very, very slow. Here the synchronization is off, and the start phase is set to 120, uh, sorry, one, 270. And LFO3, maybe you can guess, will be on speed 2. Again with synchronization on, at a sp um, start phase of 90 degrees. So as you can hear, we did not apply the modulation sources yet. This is what we want to do now. The sound which you heard at the beginning was a sound um, which is evolving 
during a very long time with uh, many different changes over a long time period and many different sounds. So we need slow modulations and a huge variety of sounds. Let's check out how we can achieve this. So let's go to oscillator 1. This can remain as a source, um, as a saw type oscillator. We're going to change the octave just to 16 foot. Now we can go on with the second oscillator, which can be a wavetable oscillator. A octave higher than the standard. Now we already have many different frequencies which we can use to play around with the sound. But we're going to reduce the level of this oscillator in order to modulate it later so we can add higher frequencies and reduce them with a modulation source. We're going to change the balance to 30 so that it goes mostly through filter 1 but also a bit through filter 2. And of course we can change um, the um, wavetable position. So you, you can hear this. I turn it on again. Something around 64. Modulation can be turned to the maximum and our modulation source is LFO1. And we can turn on the brilliance to the maximum. So that this wavetable has a very strong digital character. I turn down the volume again. And oscillator 3 can be again a very simple saw type with octave on 4 foot, level down to 10. And we can lead um, oscillator 3 completely through filter 2. Now let's do one more thing as a preparation in the oscillator section. We can go to this menu page and change the allocation to mono. This will be helpful later when we are turning on the arpeggiator so that the LFOs do not resynchronize with every keystroke. They will remain in their position and we get this slow but constant modulation uh, during a long time. And we can also turn on unisono because we have a monophonic sound so that we can use more voices at once. I'm using three voices with a slight detune of 20. Now let's have a look on filter 1, which is a low pass type. So we get a part of low frequencies and the second filter will be a high pass type. But let's start with the low pass filter. We can change the cutoff to 10, for instance. And the filter envelope will modulate the cutoff frequency with the amount of 40. So this is the bass part of our sound. And we can use filter 2, as I said, with a high pass type. High pass 12 dB will do the job. Cut off to 80. And we are going to use modifier 4.
with the amount of minus 48. So you cannot hear filter 2 because we turned down oscillator 3 which goes completely through the filter but you can also hear no modulation on this filter. So now let's have a look on um, the modifiers. Therefore we are going to scroll to the modifier menu section and now we can use for instance LFO1 with, with the operation AND and a constant value of minus 64. This will cause a very slow stepped modulation um, almost like a sample and hold. We're going to use this slow stepped modulation to change the total pitch of the sound later. But just remember this modulation, okay? Let's have a look on modifier 2. We are going to use LFO1 in combination with LFO3. And we are going to multiply these two values in order to get a complete new modulation, which is also slow, but not quite as slow as both. And we can recreate similar things with modifier 3, which is using modifier 2 in combination with LFO2. Again, multiplied. And last but not least, we are going to use LFO2 in combination with LFO3. Again, with a multiplication. So what we need now are all the modulation assignments for this patch. And we're going to spend a lot of time in the modulation matrix. So let's go back to the modulation matrix and start with modulation 1, which can be, for instance, our envelope 3 modulating the total pitch. But we're not going to add amount to this modulation. I'm going to explain this later. But as you remember, envelope 3 was our fake LFO. So the fake LFO envelope 3 is going to act as a vibrator source, okay? And in the second modulation slot, we are going to use our second fake LFO envelope 4 to change oscillator to level and modulate this with plus 20. The filter envelope is going to be the source of modulation 3 and it's modulating filter 1 frequency. Filter 1 cutoff. Again, I'm not adding any modulation amount. You will see this later. In the fourth modulation slot, we're going to use modifier 3, modulating filter 1 resonance with the amount of 20. And we can use modifier 1 to modulate the total pitch with the amount of 41. As I said before, the 
modifier one is creating a very slow stepped sample and hold signal. So the um, modulation source, uh, source will remain for a long time on one parameter and, and then change the value for a very long time to another value. And with this we can create um, a transposition of the sound later when the appreciator is on. So it's playing. Then after some time it will perform a transposition to a different pitch. After some time it will again change the pitch to a complete different pitch. By using this trick we can make the sound more exciting. Actually with, this, with these eternal patches I want to have something which I just trigger once and then I lay back and just enjoy the, the sound. And the blowfield will be acting as if someone is changing the notes from time to time. Of course this trick will not create perfect pitches or transpos transpositions um, which you can calculate exactly. But um, within one patch this can create a very nice effect and a huge variety within the sound. Modulation slot 6 is going to use LFO2 as the source for modulation slot 3 amount. And it's modulating the amount with 44. As you remember, modulation slot 3 was the filter envelope modulating filter 1 cutoff frequency and we left um, the modulation amount to zero. Now we can increase this amount like a remote um, control by using LFO2. So LFO2 is controlling modulation slot 3 in this case. We still have a lot of work to do, so let's move on with modulation slot 7, which is modifier 3, modulating modulation slot 2 amount with the amount of 40. As you remember, modulation slot 2 was envelope 4, modulating oscillator 2 level. In slot 8, we have modifier 2, controlling oscillator 3 level, with the amount of 35. And in modulation 9, we have LF of 3, controlling oscillator to balance. With the amount of 30. So this modulation is changing um, the amount of level which um, will go from oscillator 2 to filter 1 and filter 2. It's changing the, the mixing. Now in modulation slot 10 we are going to use modifier 2 with envelope 4 decay with the amount of 55. As I said before, the um, parameters like decay and attack are changing the speed of our fake LFOs. So by modulating the decay parameter, we can change um, the speed of 
um, the fake LFO envelope 4. And our last modulation entry will be modifier 4, controlling modulation 1 amount by 16. In modulation slot 1, we um, tried to create a vibrator by using envelope um, 3. Actually, it's not really important if you use an LFO or um, the modifiers 2 to 4 as a modulation slot for something. It's just important to use different sources for different parameters in order to get um, all the time different combinations of parameters because the LFOs um, have different speed um, values then you have multiplication of these things and um, the, because of this you can get many different slow modulations but they are not synchronous, they are slightly um, phasing to each other, changing um, the combinations of values of these modulation sources. And then you can get different combinations of all of your different characters which you provided with um, the different values for the oscillators and different values for the filters. Now let's turn on the arpeggiator. I'm going to change the mode to hold. I'm going to change the clock to 1 16th. The speed to 100 BPM. the pattern to the user pattern. I'm changing the length of every note to one half so that every note will be played for a longer time. And now we can program the user pattern. I'm going to change the notes to a random note. except for some notes, which are going to be a pause. Of course, you can create your own pattern here. A random note or a question mark in this position means that um, the Blofeld chooses one of the notes which you played uh, randomly. So sometimes you get three times the same note, sometimes you get very wild note changes and this will happen randomly. So let's hear the arpeggio. So as you can hear, we get a sound which is changing during a long time period. Now we can add some effects. Let's use the phaser for instance in effect slot 1. With the phaser you can create very slow but interesting modulation effects. 
So let's turn the speed down to 1. Let's change the depth to 127 and the spacing to 64. And finally we can add a clocked delay to get a more exciting sound. So let's go to effect slot 2, change the type to clocked delay, increase it to 60. We can change the length to one fourth dotted and the spread to 58 which will be just perfect for our BPM of 100. And we can change the feedback to 90 so that we get many repetitions of our sound. And this is the final patch. I know that this can be a bit complex to understand, but if you want to understand how the modifiers work and how the very slow LFOs um, look like in combination, you should really check out my first eternal patch tutorial, which I'm going to link somewhere in the video or maybe in the video description. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If so, make a like and share your thoughts with us with a little comment. Um, if you want to get my next videos, don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell. If you want to have um, empty patch sheets for your own patches of the Blofeld, you should check out the link in the video description. And thanks for watching and have a nice day.